Hi folks, my name is Jason Sage with Jagus LLC and today I want to talk about VTiger CRM email templates. Um, there's a couple confusing things about email templates that can prove difficult and we want to try to see if we can iron some of these common shortcomings or, or easy to make pitfalls along the way by uh, explaining how this email templating system works in VTiger CRM and we're specifically referring to version 5.1.0 okay so I have an installation of VTiger and it's version 5.10 and I have the demo data installed so when I asked for you know the demo information to be pulled in when I was creating this system it was so we had some stuff to work with and I've already changed a contact and a lead to have a Jagus email so that I can demonstrate what it is we're demonstrating so let's go to the settings area email templates and I'm going to create a new template. This part's easy. This isn't where it gets you. When you're creating an email template, you have the ability to grab information from the database and it'll automatically convert codes that you can put down here in your email with data gathered from the database. Now the part that's very tricky and very important to understand is that if you want to make an email template that you can send to contacts and to leads you need to make two email templates you need to make one email template tailored for the contact that is you want to use fields from the database the contact entity in that template like contact first name if you make this template for emailing to contacts you'd have codes from the contacts entity in your e in your email template and that will get replaced with data from the from the entity and if you're going to create a template that you want to send to leads you would make all the fields for that email template come from the leads entity versus the contact again if you want to create an email template that you can send to contacts and to leads you need to make two of them you need to make one tailored for the contact fields one tailored for the lead fields otherwise you'll end up sending people emails that have these ugly looking codes as opposed to their first name so when you write dear contact first name they would see these codes rather than the data from the database okay that's a very important detail so I'm going to finish this is going to be for contacts we're using a contact field so we have dear contact first name hello and then let's grab another bit of data just to show something else uh, how about congratulations on your new title? Congrats. There. So we're pulling the contacts first name and the contacts title from the database into the email that we're going to send on a, from using a template and the, again this is for contacts so I'm going to name my email template contacts I'm just going to call it congrats and for the subject just to keep it easy for this demonstration we'll use that for the subject line so here we have an email template tailored to only send to contacts because it grabs information from the contacts entity. So I'm going to save that email template and I'm going to go over to the web mail interface inside of VTiger um, and hit compose and here we are. See here's where it's important. We made a template for contacts so I only want to use that template let me select my email template. I only want to use that template for emailing contacts. So we have contact, congrats. There's our template. And you see it's grabbing information from the contacts database. It's got code that starts with dollar sign and the word contacts. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go select a contact, not a lead, because I wouldn't get the information proper. So in our contacts, I set up somebody here, Mary Smith, with a Jagus email account. So I'm going to grab Mary Smith, and we're going to send this off. And here we have the email that just came in from Mary Smith. 
and this is the admin that I'm logged into when your admin or let me put it this way whenever you send out an email that's an email template is used the administrator gets an email with the dollar signs which looks like it didn't work but the lead or the in this case the contact that I just emailed also got an email and we can prove that by to my inbox and you'll see I have two emails here I have one that says dear Mary notice there's no codes there congratulations on your new position as director operations and it grabbed information from the contact entity and I know this is the message that the lead or I'm sorry the contact got received because in my to address I can see Mary Smith at Jagus that was the the contact that I had emailed with the template now here I have the one that was sent to the administrator and it's got the dollar signs and stuff in it it's got the actual codes so don't be confused on that if when you first make your email template it doesn't look like the data translated make sure make sure that you didn't you're not looking at the email that was sent to the admin account okay second let's go if we go to do a lead I want I just want to actually demonstrate when it is broken so what we have we made a template that was designed for a contact so I'm gonna create a new email but I'm gonna email it to a lead even though it's a contacts template so let me select my template that I made for a contact and let me select a lead to send it to just to demonstrate what does not work so we have leads I have somebody here with a Jagus Elizabeth Brown the Jagus email address and I'm gonna hit send now it says dear contact with a dollar sign it says dear contact title we have a template that was made for contacts we have a lead that we're sending it to so VTiger is going to be unable to get the information in the database let's demonstrate that I'm gonna hit send it's been sent there it comes in if we look in here in my email client we should have two more emails that came in here's the one that was sent to Elizabeth Brown the lead and if you notice there's the code for contacts so yeah, again if you want to make a template that you can send to leads and contacts you need to make a template for the leads entity you need to make a copy of that template and make the codes proper for the contact entity and there you have that now that's that's how that's how you go about the creating of the templates as far as uh, how to get the data out of the database into your emails there's two more things I'd like to cover and the next being getting images into those templates so I'm gonna go back to the template editor